I made a video a couple weeks back about the best data science project, which is research with a professor. It's unique, kills like three birds with one stone and is full of impact, which is the most important measure of a good data scientist. So I still think it's the best option if you happen to be in school and have three months to a year left before you have to start applying to internships or jobs. That being said though, I have gotten some really valid feedback from people who are out of school or simply don't have three months to a year left before recruiting season begins. So I'm back today with three more unique and impactful data science projects that will make your resume stand out. And these are also accessible to those of you who are out of school too. And even more good news, even if you're just a few weeks away from when you start applying, don't think that you don't have enough time. Depending on how much time that you do have left, there's plenty of ways to actually get something on your resume quickly that actually also looks super impressive. Side note, this is not some sort of fast trickery activity or lying on your resume though, which I think is always a terrible idea. I'm just showing you some of these opportunities, but remember, it's still up to you to put in the effort. Let's jump into it. Pro bono consulting is a really cool option that I feel like just isn't talked about very much at all. Maybe because people see it as some sort of business school thing and don't see how it's relevant to data science. Or, I don't know, maybe they feel like they just don't have enough skills to actually make a difference in industry. Uh, and whatever the case may be, this is actually an amazing chance to have an impact in industry. Universities usually have consulting clubs, usually through the business school. With the school branding, industry clients would reach out and put in requests for consulting work that ranges across a variety of different things. Don't worry if you're not in school though, there's also lots of pro bono consulting gigs out there. For example, there's Taproot Foundation. It's a national nonprofit that connects nonprofits and social change organizations with volunteers. And you can be that volunteer. There's also Catch Fire. No, Catch a Fire that aims to strengthen social good. And finally, there's Vula that has a really interesting model actually. It enables skilled volunteers to donate their services, which are hired by businesses and the public in exchange for a fee, which they then donate to the charity of their choice. I personally went through the university consulting group, but if I were transitioning into data science and I'm now out of school, I would definitely have my eyes out for these opportunities. Let me also give you guys an example of what a consulting project may look like. A company recently realized the importance of social media. Um, a little late, but better late than never, right? So they jumped on board with social media marketing, and after a few months, they realized though that the results they had was a little short of what they knew was possible with social media marketing. They would like to analyze their social media strategy and identify opportunities for improvement. And that's where you come in. Let's also do another example, because why not, right? A dance studio is looking into expanding outside of just teaching classes. They're also interested in a few different opportunities, maybe like selling merch, selling health products, or offering private lessons to corporate partners. They don't know which is the best investment opportunity, and so are asking for opportunity sizing of all these options to see which one is the best. I personally love these kinds of projects, and I can give you examples for days across so many different industries, but you get the gist of it. I hope you can also see that these are actually really data-driven opportunities. You can offer your data science skills and take over the analytics portion of the consulting gig to help companies such as these. As a personal example, uh, because I was part of the pro bono consulting club at UPenn, I took on this project, um, specifically the analytics portion of it, and used Python and just like a little bit of machine learning to help the company analyze their Instagram and Facebook social media marketing strategies. So why is pro bono consulting such an amazing project? Well, the most important reason is because this type of project has clear and tangible impact. You're literally helping a company solve a problem, figure out what is going wrong, or driving a decision. It's also really unique because the data you analyze is specific to this particular project, and the way you choose to analyze the data is tailored specifically as well to answer the question at hand. There's really so much valuable nuance here. Bonus point too, because this is also a project that emphasizes those soft skills. You have to present and communicate your findings and recommendations to the client in an efficient and professional manner. These soft skills are just as important as technical skills to be a good data scientist. So I hope I've convinced you to take a closer look at pro bono consulting. Before we go on to project number two, I just wanted to take a quick pause and say welcome to everybody that's new on this channel. And also thank you so much to everyone that has supported me from day one, day 10, just everybody in the past couple of months. I'm so, so grateful that you guys are here. I'm planning to also shoot a proper intro video because I realized I never properly introduced myself. 
Um, but for now, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and supporting me. All right, number two. Open source projects are not just reserved for engineers. There's also lots of data projects. This is another great option open to students and non-students, experienced and inexperienced data scientists. Check out ovio.org, a platform that lists open source projects. I just took a look and there are several COVID-19 related projects, as expected. But there's also ones that have to do with deep learning, education, and many other social good projects, such as accessibility, welfare, and comprehensive food networks. Many of these have several open issues that you can jump in and help immediately. Open source projects are great because they have a very clear impact value. You also get to work closely with other people, be it data scientists, engineers, or even business people. The work you do is super meaningful and you also learn a lot as a bonus. Meeting people already in industry also doesn't hurt. Opportunity leads to more opportunity. Oh, by the way, don't worry if you feel like you're not skilled enough. There's people of all different levels and everybody has to start somewhere, right? Just go in respectful, open-minded and eager to learn. And you'll be surprised by how nice people are and willing to help. So if you haven't already, I highly recommend checking out open source projects that you find interesting and just dive in. Hackathons and datathons, which are data specific hackathons, are especially great if you're cutting close to the application time, a month out or even a couple of weeks because you're essentially forced to complete a project in a very short amount of time. If you're in university, you probably already know that there's always so many of these going on all the time. And I would be very surprised if you can't find one either at your school or at other universities nearby. Now, if you're not in school, but just graduated maybe a couple years ago, you can also email them to ask if you can attend. As a personal anecdote, I've organized a hackathon before and there were definitely people who graduated and reached out to ask if they can still come. And we were like, yeah, like, why not, right? That's completely fine. And don't think it's weird. Remember, there's also grad students that attend these. So, you know, you're probably not going to be the oldest one if that's what you're worried about. Finally, if you're many years out of college and slash or very uncomfortable hanging out with youths, um, don't worry. There's also hackathons and other competition style events that are really similar to hackathons. But these are for people outside of school. For example, check out angelhack.com. There's actually one coming up September 21st for AWS and Adobe. AWS in particular, I think you can do a lot of cool ML stuff with your ML suite. There's also hackathons.io where organizations and just groups of people post upcoming hackathons and datathons. Some of these are geared towards students, but others are open to all. So definitely keep an eye out there as well. I think hackathons and datathons are better than just doing a personal project because they usually give you a theme or something to work off that helps you find, make a final product that's more unique and impactful. It also emphasizes those soft skills that we keep talking about, and it shows that you can work in a team and present your work. Plus, maybe you win a prize we're ranking a hackathon or a datathon, and that always looks good on your resume and also makes you feel good about yourself. All right, so in summary, we talked about three unique and impactful project ideas that can really boost up your resume. These are pro bono consulting, open source projects, and last but not least, hackathons and datathons. Whether you're in school or out of school, have three weeks or half a year or more before applying for internships and jobs, and no matter your experience level, I think you will definitely be able to do one of these projects. I'm also really confident that you'll find something interesting and you'll learn a ton as well. There's just so many options out there, so get excited. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.